I'd like to show how Ben Franklin used his scientific appreciation of rope or thread to promote union among the colonies. At present, we are like separate filaments of flax before the thread is formed, without strength because without connection. But union would make us strong. Well, in the mid-1800s, the rope making was a very simple operation. And in Xenia, in particular, there were six rope companies. With the, with the banning of hemp, that really promoted sisal and manila fibers that had to come in from the foreign countries. India, the land of the Taj Mahal, a land of strange people and quaint customs. From this faraway land to Xenia, Ohio, is brought jute fiber. Raw jute is trucked from the jute warehouse to the bale breaker. But of course, when imports uh, during World War II were very difficult, hemp came back strong. Hemp for mooring ships, hemp for tow lines, hemp for tackle and gear, hemp for countless naval uses, both on ship and shore. Hemp for victory. If you go farther, you unwind a strand, and you find that a strand of half-inch rope is made of seven yarns. And the yarns individually, then, are made up of literally hundreds of individual fibers. Mm -hmm. 